You know, last week we talked about the upcoming Creed 3 and how they were projecting now at the time last week that Creed 3 was going to set a new record for not just Creed movies, but for the, the Rocky franchise as a whole with maybe the biggest opening weekend in that franchise's history. And well, it looks like they have been able to do it because Creed 3 came out and it has smashed the previous records. Absolutely smashed the previous Creed records, opening to $58.7 million opening weekend. Yeah, bravo. Wow. Michael B. Jordan, all the team over there at, uh, at I think it was, was it MGM? MGM? I think it was MGM behind it. Yeah, the folks at Amazon and MGM for a masterful job of promoting this movie. Uh, their trailers have been fantastic. And word, they made, most importantly, they made a great movie where word of mouth, and you guys, I recommend you go check out our review of the film from last week. And word got out. And it, are we able to go over to the classroom for a second? It's doing this kind of strange thing. I'll show you real quick. Oh, we'll, we'll, try we'll, to, it's yeah, doing we'll deal that. with it later then. It doesn't matter. So Creed 3, the first Creed movie, I should say, opened to $29.6 million at the box office. Creed 2 went up. By seven million to thirty-five point five million, and now this one opens to fifty-eight. That's almost, pretty much, almost right on the nose, double of what the first Creed movie made in its opening weekend. Nearly double. That is word of mouth, man. That is quality. Got people excited and started spreading the word that this thing is great. you got to get out and see it. It had incredibly good legs in the weekend as well because it wasn't just the Friday and the Saturday, the Sunday uh, tickets, advanced ticket sales were fantastic. And word just got out. They made a great movie. Trailers are great. It really shows you the importance of both a very well put together marketing campaign with having a quality product. And it doesn't hurt that the previous films were also very good. So if there was any question or wondering about whether Creed, there's going to be a Creed 4? You yeah, put those questions to bed now. Mm -hmm. yeah. They are absolutely already sitting down with Michael B. Jordan. Actually, on the red carpet of uh, of Creed 3, you know, Michael B. Jordan mentioned that he's already kind of planning the future of the Creed universe. So, and you know what? I'll tell you what else. Remember how there were whispers before that they were going to do a Drago movie? After Creed 3, I want that Drago movie. Mm-hmm. Now, I, I don't know if, I always forget how to pronounce his name, Matt Toe, Matt Tu. Yeah. The, he, he played Razor Fist in, in Shang-Chi, and he played uh, Victor Drago in, um, in Creed. But I would love now to see his story. I would love to see him ascend to become a heavyweight champion, maybe Creed, maybe Adonis tra trains him. I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of different directions to go, but a straight-up Creed 4, I think they got to do. I think they got to do. Anyway, Chris, you saw the financial results they've got here for this movie. Uh, surprise, not surprised. What do you think? I mean, it's wild. It is surprising, honestly. I thought this would do well. I still haven't gotten a chance to see the movie. I'm seeing it this weekend. I'm very excited about it. But this is the highest grossing box office for a sports movie ever. I believe, right? Really? That's what open, I, biggest that's opening what for I read, any sports movie. That's what I read on comicbook.com, which I need to double check everything. They're all nerds there. They know that's, sports. Yeah. <laughs> they know numbers, though. They know numbers. That's true. But for, for a movie to do this well and be your directorial debut, and it's the third installment of a franchise that's being like rebooted and taken, it's a spinoff from another franchise with five films under its belt, that's insane. Those are absolutely bananas numbers. And I think it's just a testament to what Michael B. Jordan has done with this franchise. I mean, not only with his own character and acting, but the direction he took this in, bringing majors on board, who I think is just going to be box office catnip moving forward. Again, say what you will about, you know, Quantumania. He does a lot of great work with Kang, and I think will continue to do great work with Kang. I think he's such a tremendous, tremendous actor. And the relationship from what I've read too, that these two will be able able to cultivate in this film so that you do feel like they've known each other their whole lives and that 
there's this almost intimacy with their fighting is something that I'm really excited about, right? I think Jonathan Major said, when it's strangers fighting, it's war and you have harder opinions. This blurs the lines when it's two people mm. who have such a complicated past. And so it's gotten me really excited about it. I think lots of people are really responding to this super, super well. Congratulations to everyone involved. I would love to see Jonathan Major's return. Yep. Uh, I, like I want them to do Creed four. I, I don't want to see Creed versus Damon again, but I I do. I hope he returns. I really do because, I, again, and I know it's a little bit of a hot take because he was great as Kang. He's better as Damon. You don't want to see the Council of Damien? <laughs> the Council of Damien. <laughs> you're actually I, you're actually very fr or I was actually very frightened of his character. Oh yeah. yeah. Like I mean, it's just like. He gave that thing where it was like, you don't want to mess with this guy. He's like a ticking time bomb. Ray was yeah. hiding behind his Chipotle. He was like. <laughs> and again, when you have characters that you get why they're angry, when you get antagonists where you're like, maybe even your head, you think they are justified in being this pissed off and whatever. It, it just gives so much more richness to antagonists the thing. And you certainly feel that with Damien. Anyway, guys. What do you think about this? Creed 3 not only destroys the franchise box office records, it destroyed the projections, which had it beating the box office record already. What do you attribute that to? Did you see Creed 3? If so, what did you think of it? I thought, I don't think it's quite as good as the first one, but man, it's really close. It was fantastic. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. We want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. If saving more and spending less is one of your top goals for 2023, why are you still paying insane amounts of money every month for your phone bill? Switching to Mint Mobile is the easiest way to save this year. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save a ton with phone plans starting at just 15 bucks a month. You guys know I made the switch over to Mint Mobile a while ago. The process couldn't have been easier and I can't believe that I am spending less than a third of what I was spending on one of the other major carriers before. By going online only and eliminating the traditional costs of retail, Mint Mobile passes the significant savings on to you. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and switch easily in minutes with eSIM. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia that's mintmobile.com slash campia cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia